Right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can quickly combine CSV files when we are importing multiple CSV files in Power BI. Right, so occasionally uh, when you are receiving multiple uh, CSV files that are coming from, it can be from different locations, uh, different departments, and need to combine all the uh, data sets into a single master table. In that case, uh, this tip might be really useful. Alright, so here, uh, make sure that you create a folder, a separate folder. In this case, I name my folder files. Let me rename the folder to data files. Now, the folder name is going to represent the table name when you import the CSV files. Now, inside the folder, I have three CSV files. Two of them are located on, right underneath the data files directory. And the other file is going to be located in a separate folder underneath the data files folder. Now, when Power BI import the CSV files, it's going to ignore all the folders. And it's going to iterate every single file, regardless how many layers of folders that uh, your directory has. Then Power BI is going to grab those files and combine the data sets together. All right, so let's go into Power BI. So first, we want to go to the Home tab. Then click on Get Data. Now here we want to select More. Now make sure that you select All. And here we want to choose Folder as the option. Then click on Connect. Now from the Folder dialog window, we want to copy the Folder path where the folder contains all the uh, files. So I'm going to copy the directory path and just come and paste. Then click on OK. On the first window, it's going to give you a preview on what the data looks like. In this case, the table doesn't look correct. It is giving us the file name, file extension, when was the last time the file was accessed, and other information. Now here we want to click on combine. So what combine is going to do is, it is going to iterate the files that list on this window here. So uh, for example, here I'm going to click on combine and load. So what happened was, when we click on Combine, Power BI is going to do another iteration. It's going to iterate those uh, files. And it's going to open those files and look at the table inside each file. Then it's going to uh, combine the uh, table instead. Now in this window, you want to preview the table to make sure that the format and the counts are correct. You also have the option to skip any file that occurs in here when you perform the importing. And I would highly recommend that you check uh, this option, skip files with errors. Now once you make sure that the table looks uh, OK, then you can go ahead and click on OK to combine the uh, files. And once the tables are imported, you are going to see a new model got created. In this case, it's going to be data files. Now if we look at the table here, let's go to the data view. So once I really like when I'm using Power BI to import multiple CSV files into a single table, is that when Power BI combines the uh, CSV files, it's going to create a new column to tell us where the table comes from. So this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video, and hopefully you guys find this tip useful. And feel free to post your feedback or any suggestions. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a like and click on the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.